This show is sponsored by BetterHelp Online Therapy. Being your best self feels good for your loved ones and for you. Visit betterhelp.com super and get back to being you. How long do I have to answer each question? 15 seconds. 15 seconds? 50, you can do it. Okay. Hey, brother. Guys, here on the channel, we are often trying to answer some of the hardest questions in Harry Potter. But instead, today, we are going to answer Google's top 50 most commonly asked questions about Harry Potter. But apparently, I only have 15 seconds to answer each one. I have no idea what they are ahead of time. Ben is going to be reading me each of the questions and timing my answers. Have you read the questions or are these, am I gonna be able to answer them? Oh, you're gonna be able to, oh, okay. I have turtle faith, turtle faith. Great, I trust you. Guys, before we start, just wanted to let you know that we've gotten so many questions about our Pride shirts over here at SCB that they are now on sale for you to buy over at supercarlinbrothers.store. 100% of the proceeds are going to two different Pride causes. One is It Gets Better, and the other is a local Pride nonprofit here in Roanoke, Virginia, where we live. Again, they're available right now over at supercarlinbrothers.store. Anyway, guys, here's how it's gonna work today. Ben is gonna read me the question, and as soon as he's done talking, my 15 seconds starts to give you guys a full explanation of the answer to that question. Ben, hit me. Question one. Why does Ron have a pet rat? Why does Ron have a pet rat? The better question is one, why is Ron allowed a pet rat at Hogwarts at all? And how did the Weasleys come to own Scabbers to begin with? I guess Percy gives it to him is the real answer. Yeah, well, per Percy gives it to him. And it's, it's what's entirely unclear about this is why does Percy have him? Why does Percy have the rat? Where did it show up from? Why, yeah, why did you keep the rat? Who keeps a stray rat? Did good, you oh. came in under the wire. Very well done, very well done. Okay, question two. Why does Ron ride the knight? What do you mean? Oh, 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 in the chessboard. I thought you meant like, why does he ride the knight? Like a party <laughs> animal. Um, no, I think Ron in the movie rides on the knight on the chessboard because they needed a way for the queen to stab Ron without Ron dying. Because if he just took the place entirely, she would have just- Time! Yeah. Very close though, very close though. Yeah, I think that's exactly the explanation that I would go with as well. It, because this was a choice that the movie made. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing about it, one, is that in like one of the most recent videos we made, we noticed that the, uh, the Ron Weasley double is like glaringly obvious Glaring. on the screen. So for one, that's hilarious. Let's show you that. Uh, but the other thing is I'm fairly certain that when Rupert Grint actually falls on the ground, a piece of rubble literally does cut his actual cheek, which is then even funnier because he had a thumb double just seconds before. Ah, uh, if only. Question three, why did Dumbledore put on the ring? Oh, because he, uh, Dumbledore puts on the resurrection, the stone because he realizes it's the resurrection stone and he thinks he's gonna be able to see his family again. And then he uh, gets cursed and it's eventually gonna kill him and he loses access to his hand. Nailed it. Question four, why does Sirius Black say, nice one, James? Oh, this actually is a movie edition. Uh, it is not in the books at all. It's one of our favorite editions in the movie that isn't in the books, but it's just to uh, represent that Sirius thinks of Harry more as his best friend than as like a godson. Nailed it. Question five, why does Dumbledore call Voldemort Tom? Uh, I think this is a way to remind him that he'll always be just like the little boy. And it's a way to just like not play by Dump Voldemort's rules. He's like, oh, oh, what do you want me to call you, Tom? Uh, uh, I'm sorry, I won't be calling you that. It's so savage. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of savage. <laughs> Alrighty, question six. Why does Malfoy hate Harry? Why does, because Malfoy thought he was gonna show up at Hogwarts like as the greatest thing since sliced bread and it turns out Harry showed up and was actually the greatest thing since sliced bread and had a lightning scar. It was like way cooler than Malfoy. He was like, what, what, what? Malfoy didn't even have a cool scar at all. No, not one, not even one single cool scar. Not even one single one. No. The, the thing about Malfoy here is that I think he actually is rather exceptional at Quidditch. Harry is just, a little bit better. That's that's really the problem. Malfoy thought he was, Malfoy basically thought everyone was going to treat him the way everyone actually does treat Harry. And had Malfoy showed up in any other class, that probably would have been true. It's true, yeah. it's true. Poor Malfoy. Question seven, why does Dumbledore have to die? Uh, why does he have to die? I mean, because otherwise Dumbledore could always fight Voldemort for Harry instead. Like why would Harry ever have to go do it? Uh, but otherwise he has to die because he wants the Elder Wand to go to Snape. Perfect. Yeah, I also think there's the added uh, layer there that he is 
he, I don't even know that he always knew he was going to have to end up dying, but he he um, put, put on the ring and is cursed and is going to die. Yeah, he's anyway. going to die anyway because yes. of the ring. Yeah. Question eight. Why does Hermione have a time turner? Uh, because she signs up for way too many classes for a third year, and for some reason they're like, yeah, I guess that's fine. We'll just let a third year time travel. Like, there's no way she's the first. Percy definitely had a time turner before Hermione anyway. We made a whole video about it. Yeah, exactly. The big thing here is that Percy got more OWLs than Hermione did, and the only way that would be possible is that he was taking as many classes. Exactly. Which can't possibly be the case if, and yeah, that's the thing. Hermione getting a time turner was not unique. Right. Had to be the case. All right, question nine. Why does Hermione punch Draco? Oh, well, there's a million reasons to punch Draco, right? I think in this particular instance, it's because uh, they're like cheering that the executioner went down to Hagrid's house to kill Buckbeak. Also in the books, it's a slap, not a punch. I'm pretty sure this was an Emma Watson decision to do the punch. Time. I agree with you entirely. And I do think that that's accurate. That was like a game day decision that it was like, who needs a slap when you got a punch? <laughs> Question 10, why did Dumbledore hire Lockhart? <laughs> why did Dumbledore hire Lockhart? I mean, I think it's pretty obvious, uh, but the, I, mostly to show Harry what might become of him if he leans too hard into the fame is why he hired him. Classic Dumbledore's big plan going on with this one is, is there are several paths that Harry can take uh, as a very, very famous person at such a young age. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that Dumbledore's big plan really speaks heavily to this particular hiring decision. Is, yeah. Yeah, he, he, needed to, he needed to show Harry the, the worst version of himself. Pretty much. Question 11, why does Hagrid live in a hut? Oh, because Hagrid is exceptionally good at saving money because he's actually super rich. Like he's had a steady job since he was like, what, 13? Uh, he's had no rent, no utilities, no anything. Time! But I agree with you entirely. And he also has like just unicorn hairs. Oh, he has access to all sorts of rare things like that he can sell. And you know he does. He's like, oh, even when you're in the trade, like he's in the trade. He's selling stuff. He's just very humble. Hashtag swagrid. Hashtag swagrid. Question 12. Why does Voldemort look like that? What do you mean? Why does he look like that? Like without a nose? Because part of him is like uh, made from the snake venom, I guess. And also the reason his like form changes is because he splits his soul so many times that he's not really human anymore. There you go. I actually really like that. I guess I don't know that I've really considered the fact that part of his revival directly involved the like milking Nagini. Yeah. Which is always very, very They say milking Nagini, they mean getting the venom from her fangs, not like milking like a cow or something. That's good. That's yeah. the preferred method. Question 13. Why does Snape have a doe Patronus? Oh, uh, because James can transform into a stag and... Um, Lily is the doe to James's stag and therefore, and Snape is in love with Lily, so his Patronus is a doe. What I love about this is it also means that 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 James and Snape really could have been. Oh, you know? right? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe he was in love with James. There's a thin line between love and hate. <sighs> Never thought about it like that. Question 14, <laughs> why does Luna Lovegood read upside down? Oh, she's just reading the Quibbler and there's, it's like one of those, any magazine where it's like, oh, the an turn up the magazine upside down for the answers. And she's like reading runes, which have to be read upside down for or something. Yeah, but so it's just like an answer key in the magazine. She's not really reading everything upside down all the time in all yeah. ways. I think that this is like a movie thing where probably if you don't realize that that's what's going on, it's like, why is she always holding it upside down? Right, they, she's just like, well, well, that girl is weird. Question 15, why does Ron listen to the radio? Um, I guess it's because this is, I'm assuming this is from Deathly Hallows and yes. this is because he's trying to learn more about the outside world because it's just the three of them and they don't have any information about what's going on out there. Question 16, I actually really like this one. Why does Harry have to participate in the Triwizard Tournament? Oh, this is such a load of bullocks is what it is because apparently there's like a magical contract where he has to compete. They don't ever say it, but the consequence I guess is that he dies. But I feel like the obvious answer is just like make him start and then immediately like just stop. Time. Like, ugh. Yeah, no, I agree with you completely. I think that there is definitely some type of like binding contract that happens. The Goblet of Fire constitutes a binding magical contract. And that's the huge risk about it. Right. If you can't compete, then you're done. Right. Question 17, why does Hermione hate divination? Oh, because she can't just logic her way out of it. And she like, because of that, she th she's able to point out all the plot holes of Trelawney's predictions, even though everything Trelawney says comes true, all of it. 
This is definitely like one of those where I feel like divination could be very similar to like art class. Yeah. In high school where right. it's, it's the type of thing where, yeah, there's there's not like hard rules about how it works. Like art is entirely subjective. Exactly. Question 18. Why does Hermione obliviate her parents? Oh, I guess because uh, if they don't know anything about her, then they can't have like information tortured out of them about Hermione because she thinks Voldemort might be hunting her. Also, maybe to make them harder to find. But also, what do they even know about her life anyway? When is she ever home? Time. No, I agree with you completely. This is, yeah, this is totally like, like she's a great student. She's yeah. a great friend. Her relationship with her parents. I don't know if she's a great daughter. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so sad. I'm sorry, Hermione. Question 19. Why does Luna Lovegood wear a lion's hat? Oh, it is kind of weird. I guess she's rooting for Harry because she thinks of like uh, Harry, Ron, Hermione, Ginny, and Neville as her best friends, even though she's in Ravenclaw, but she's just rooting for Gryffindor because she wants them to win. Question 20, why did Cho Chang tell on Dumbledore's army? Cho Chang does not tell on Dumbledore's army. That is a terrible disservice to Cho Chang in the movies. It is Marietta Edgecombe. Justice for Cho. Question 21, why does Dumbledore ignore Harry in Order of the Phoenix? Uh, he's pretty sure that if he makes direct eye contact with him that it's gonna like alert Voldemort or like awaken something inside of Harry, which does happen a few times throughout the book. Uh, so I guess, I guess he's right. It seems like he could have talked to him. Question 22. Why does Dumbledore trust Hagrid? Why does Dumbledore trust Hagrid is a fantastic question. And I think we're going to find out the answer to it in uh, Fantastic Beasts because uh, when Hagrid starts working at Hogwarts will overlap with the end of the movie. We don't actually know other than that, like he totally... Uh, keeps him on and avoids oh. Yeah, I think there's a lot of that going on there. I think that it'd be very easy to get to the conclusion that like Hagrid, Dumbledore knows how much Hagrid owes him. Yeah. Which is like a really upsetting way to look at it. Yeah, but I can't imagine that's it. Question 23, why does Hagrid like Harry so much? Uh, I guess because he got rid of Voldemort. I mean, he rescues him from the Dursleys and I think immediately recognizes what a great kid he is and uh i think he probably just wants to like off like be that father figure for him a little bit because he knows he didn't have that i don't think hagrid had Tom. that either yeah that's also very true is that uh hagrid didn't have a father figure yeah question 24 why does snape hate harry oh uh, this he doesn't need to at all i think it's mostly just because harry looks like james and James stole Lily from Snape, at least in his eyes, but otherwise he, there's, there's really no reason he should hate Harry. This is classic Snape having just never really grown up. Yeah, basically. Like, he like this, it, it really doesn't contribute well to him being that much of a hero because it seems like he's still petty enough to literally hating an innocent child who lost his parents because of who his dad was. Here's the thing. If Lily and James had had a like redheaded daughter, Snape would have loved her. That's also upsetting. You know, that's upsetting to think about, but I bet that's true. These are entirely randomized, but it's a very, it's, we're in a similar vein again for question 25. Why does Harry like Ginny? Why does Harry like Ginny? I mean, I think it's just one of those, like he spends so much time with the Weasley family and they like sort of adopt him like in like into their family so much. And he just gets to, gets to know her really well in like a non-romantic setting. And then suddenly when he like reaches the point where he's having romantic feelings, time. Like, oh. Yeah, I think the, I, uh, I think the thing that the movies do not do a good job of illustrating, and, and as ever, want to not blame Bonnie Wright for this at all, I just don't think the movies really made Ginny seem as cool as she definitely is in the books. Right, yeah, that's very true as well. Open up me, shoelace. Guys, we need to take a quick break to give a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Candid. Okay guys, so back in ye olden days, I had braces from 7th grade to 11th grade. Which common math would tell you was 4 years, but I assure you it was the full 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th grade, which somehow was 5. It's, I, this is this is witchcraft. But hey, at least when my full 5 years were up, I had a retainer that my dog Moose promptly ate. But anyway, fast forward 15, 16 years, how far is it? Do you count the year in question? How old am I? Point is, turns out the retainer was for uh, retaining your teeth and after this much time without using it, I, I could probably go another round. But making videos here on the internet where you know you have to see my, my face makes braces not much of an option. So 
what do? Well, the answer is, of course, it can be the removable, comfortable, totally invisible teeth aligners that help you on your way to a better smile. And not only is Candid way more affordable than the traditional braces route, but they're invisible and normal treatments only last six months. But six months is just how long it lasts, not how long until you start seeing results, which is way before then. Plus, your treatment is prescribed from a licensed orthodontist and everything can be done from the comfort of your own home. And, and this is new, with your aligner treatment, you also get Candid's teeth whitening treatment for free. Candid can help you get the straighter, brighter smile you've always wanted. And you can save $75 on your Candid starter kit today when you get started from home. Or you can book an appointment at a Candid studio located near you. Just go to candidco.com slash SCB and use code SCB to get $75 off your Candid starter kit today. Again, that is candidco.com slash SCB with promo code SCB. Link is in the description down below. Question 26. Why does Ron get mad at Harry? <laughs> Which time? Time. Uh, maybe because he was involuntarily entered into a deadly contest, that's in the Goblet of Fire. And then one because he's wearing a horcrux and thinks like Harry and Hermione are like, gay, like disliking him, which they kind of are, but also he's bringing a time. Lot of yeah, Ron, 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 Ron's a moody. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's a moody, all right. Not an Alistair moody, but uh, a moody a moody guy. Question 27. Why does Harry break the Elder Wand? Oh, this is also just a complete movie thing. I actually agree with it. It, fall, it like lines up with like, why did he drop the resurrection stone? It's like, it's just gone. It's no longer a problem. Like in the movie, in the books, he puts it back in Dumbledore's grave though. Yeah, the thing about that in the books is that now all three... Hallows, well, at the very least when James is at school, James Potter, right. the, the Harry son, it's like all three Deathly Hallows are dangerously close to one another. Oh, they are all within like a mile radius. Yeah. Question 28. Why does Harry Potter have to die? Uh, Harry has to die because he has a bit of uh, Voldemort's soul inside of him, making him a Horcrux. And the only way for that to be destroyed is for him to die. So it's unfortunate, but there you go. <laughs> Harry, in this case, literally is the container. Question 29, why does Tom Riddle have a grave? Oh, this is this is um, Voldemort's father, not Tom Riddle himself though. That is the grave. That is correct. Yeah, yes. that's, why, that's why. I so he's just able to go to the family, his, his grandparents' family graveyard. This is definitely one of those where I think the movie doesn't give you all the context necessary, but yes, Tom Tom Riddle's father, or grandfather's name, no, father's name Father's is name Riddle. is Tom Riddle. Question 30, why does Malfoy cry when the bird dies? <laughs> well, Malfoy is a known bird lover, of course. Also, the bird dying means that the cabinet repairs aren't going well, and uh, if he doesn't get the cabinet repairs to go well, Voldemort's going to kill him, so that's why. There are consequences. Question 31, why does Snape say always? <laughs> always? This is actually a great question because like, when he casts the dough, Dumbledore is like, after all this time? And it's like, why, Dumbledore, why do you think he's still helping you? Of course, after all this time, your whole thing is love and you're surprised that he's still in love? Like, what? that's why. That was perfect on time, by the way. You completely nailed it. Ugh. Question 32, why does Sirius Black act crazy? What do you mean? Why is it? Oh, like what he gets? I mean, he's been subjected to the Dementors for 13 years and they don't affect, affect him as much as everyone else, but I assume they still affect him some. I don't think he's actually like that in the books either, though. That's just sort of like part of the time. The, they're trying to make him scarier for the movie. Question 33. Why does Dumbledore trust Snape? Uh, because Snape because Snape asks Dumbledore to help hide the Potters and be Dumbledore says, uh, what will you give me in return? And he says anything. And that's what he asked for is his trust. So he knows he can trust him. Although he's still surprised apparently by the dough. Uh, question 34, why does Harry drop the resurrection stone? Oh, uh, basically he just doesn't want other people to be able to find it. It seems like maybe he could have done a better job at making sure other people can't find it. I feel like the reason he actually dropped it was because uh, it, it opens the door for someone to find it at Hogwarts later from a writing perspective. Yes, that is the thing. It's like, oh, where'd you hide it? The floor. The floor. And all you got, it's going to take one. You just know if there's ever a future book about Hogwarts that uh, someone's going to head into the forest and they're going to trip and they're going to find it. And it's going to, yeah, they're, they're going to have an ancestor who can tell them things. Question 35. Why does Sirius Black laugh after Peter dies? 
Why does he laugh after Peter dies? He was found at the scene of the crime laughing. Oh, oh, that one. Peter, okay, so he's not actually laughing at Peter dying. He's not present while Peter's dead. Sirius is already dead. Um, he- Time! Oh, this one was, this is, this is tricky enough, I guess then. It was tricky enough. This is probably the worst one I've answered. This is when everybody believes. Right, this is when they find Sirius and he's laughing because he's like, he, like Peter got the better of him and he like realizes he's been framed or something. And he's just sort of like, that's hilarious. I was gotten the better of by Peter. Question 36. Why does Hermione like Ron? <laughs> Why does Hermione like Ron? I mean, Harry's right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hashtag Hermione. Wait, I mean, hashtag Hermione. I don't, I don't know. I guess, I guess this is one of those things like opposites attract. They're constantly bickering, but it's more because they like each other than because they don't. There's a thin line between love and thin hate. Thin line between love and hate. Hashtag Hermione. Hashtag Snames. <laughs> Snames is the worst. It's not good. <laughs> better, Jape? Jape? Jape is better. Is it? Uh, Question 37, why does Luna Lovegood wear radish earrings? I actually have no idea. I think, is this to like keep Nargles away? I think that's why she does it. Something in the Quibbler, something weird. Okay, so the only thing that I would have here is that I think that they look like radishes, but they're actually dirigible, dirigible plums. That, there you go. Which grow outside of their house. You're right. When they arrive in Deathly Hallows. Yeah. Question 38, why does Snape Kill Dumbledore. Oh, because Dumbledore asked him to, uh, because he's gonna die anyway. And uh, because they're trying to save Malfoy from having to murder Dumbledore. I think that's the real, that's the real zinger yeah. there is that, is that uh, Dumbledore does not want an innocent soul uh, to have to be marred by having murdered somebody. Yeah, I which, also don't think Snape's soul is hurt by this action either. Well, he's doing, yeah, I, I would agree yeah. with that because he is doing Dumbledore a favor, it is, it is upon request. Question 39, why does Sirius Black have tattoos? Oh, this is definitely just a movie thing. Um, I, I always thought of it as because it was like, like how he has muggle posters in his room. It's just to like annoy his parents, but it also kind of looks like he got them in prison, which I don't think makes sense. Cause I don't think of uh, Azkaban as like a Time. nice. I agree with you on the posters thing, because I think that that's a really clever thing that we don't get to see a whole lot of. Actually, I don't even think we go in Sirius's room in the movie. I don't I think, think we do. The one scene that they shot was cut. Uh, so it's a good way to, to showcase something. Yeah. I wish it had been explained. Question 40, why does Hagrid go to Azkaban? Uh, basically, 50 years ago, they thought it was Aragog, Hagrid's giant spider who was attacking students in the school, but it's actually Tom Riddle and the Basilisk. Um, they expel Hagrid for it. Dumbledore immediately hires him back on. That's not suspicious at all. Everyone's just totally cool with it. But then 50 years later, the chamber's open again. Yeah, you were right there. You were okay. right there. I, I'm gonna go ahead and say though, like as much as people are like, it wasn't Aragog who did it. It's like Aragog would have done it. Yeah, like, <laughs> like Aragog was dangerous. Right, he does try to kill Harry and Ron. Question 41, why does Malfoy wear a suit? Oh, that's just a movie thing. Why does Voldemort wear a suit? There's nothing less Voldemort than wearing a muggle suit with a tie in a subway. No, 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 no. This is this was like a decision that I think they made in prisoner to not have them in their robes anymore. And I dislike that decision. I, I dislike like, it. Yeah, it's like, okay, now they're now they just all they all just like work. I, I guess it gives you the ability to give them like a little bit more individual personality, but I think you could have done it anyway. Question 42. Why does Ron make it snow? When does Ron make it snow? When does this happen? Is this in the movies? Why does Ron make it snow? I don't remember this at all. Is this real? Well, some people can make it rain, but Ron Weasley. Can he make it snow. snow. I'll be entirely honest with you. I don't know what this question is referring to, but it was one of the top questions for why does Ron? Stop it, Ron. You're making it snow. Question 43. Why does Hagrid not have a wand? Oh, Hagrid has a wand, don't be fooled. It's like obviously just in his umbrella. They always think it's like the broken pieces of his wand concealed in there, but Dumbledore has the Elder Wand, which o the only known exceptional power of is to repair wands. Time. So, I agree entirely. This is, this is like, 
It has to be. It has to be what happens in Fantastic Beasts. Has to be. I think that even if it's not, they should they should change it. They should include it. They should. We should start a, re- a letter writing campaign right now. Fix Hagrid's wand in Fantastic Beasts. Question 44 is one of my favorite questions on the entire list. Why does Hermione say, the Grindylaws. <laughs> the Grindylaws. I feel like, Ben, you might be responsible for this. Uh, she is talking about uh, Flor Delacour getting attacked by the Grindylaws in the lake and how she didn't make it back above the water in the time zone or di- didn't save her hostage. Um, it's unclear whether she's making fun time. of Flor or if Emma Watson just has a bad French accent. The Grindylaws. Question 45. Why does Dumbledore have the Elder Wand? Uh, because he beats Grindelwald in the duel and therefore he gets to take it from him. He's the master of it. Do you think, this is just a question that I'm asking you, uh, that there will actually be a duel? I mean, here's the thing. This is supposed to be a five movie series and there's already been all these delays and the promise from Philosopher Stone the book is that Dumbledore defeats Grindelwald in, a, in an epic duel. Like if with all that build up, if they don't give it to us, it's gonna be disappointing. Like I want there to be a duel. I know. I want there to be a duel too, but I also feel like the like the love angle makes me think that there's the, the love, love pack, angle, there's the Rita Skeeter, the life and lives of Albus Dumbledore Albus Dumbledore, where she's like, mm, maybe there wasn't even the duel of legend. Maybe Grindelwald just waved the white flag. And you're like, you don't really get into that though. You don't. And the thing about Rita Skeeter's article is that for the most part, it, it is right. accurate. Right. It, it is accurate for yeah. the most part. It's like, you know, probably some negative slant on it, but Question 46. Why does Hermione turn into a cat? Uh, she oh she turns into half a cat right uh basically she's trying to turn into mills and bolstrode and during the dueling club she gets one of what she thinks is her hairs off of her robe but then when she puts it into the potion it turns out it was mills and bolstrode's cat question 47 why does harry go back to the dursleys every summer uh mostly because where else is he gonna go he has to go home somewhere but secretly even unbeknownst to harry is as long as he goes back to the dursleys voldemort cannot touch him there so uh, Dumbledore is like, no, this has to happen because you got to be safe until you're 17 when that apparent charm breaks. This is like a weird kind of like magic. Like somehow, some way, the Ministry of Magic can't determine who casts a spell inside of a house, but Voldemort has a way to make it so that if you say his name, then people can immediately track your actual specific location. And it breaks charms around you. And it breaks charms around you. Very powerful. And, but then also can't go and visit a muggle household. Question 48. Why does Malfoy's mom lie to Voldemort? Uh, because she has stopped being on Voldemort's side at that point. The scene in question is when Voldemort asks Narcissa to check if Harry is dead. She says he is, even though uh, she's not. And she does that because Harry tells her that Draco's still alive inside the castle. Beautiful. Question 49. Why does Harry Potter have a scar? <laughs> what? Why does Harry Potter have a scar? Because Voldemort tried to kill him as a baby. I'm, I'm sorry. Who's asking this? This is like, this is the whole thing. <laughs> This is the whole thing. This is the whole story. This is the whole story. (laughs) Why does he have a scar? And finally, question 50. Why does Voldemort hate muggles? Why does Voldemort hate muggles? Uh, I guess he finds out that his father was a muggle and that he abandoned his mother and... Time. The only thing that I would add to this here is that I think that there's a lot to be said for when Dumbledore goes and visits him at Wool's Orphanage. Yeah. And uh, Tom, what makes him special is the fact that he has the ability to perform magic. Yeah. And I think that Tom then sees magic as superior to not magic. Right. It's just like his birthright. Yes. You know, like he, he magic is superior to not magic. So I'm better than you. You're worthless. Basically. I'm the best at magic. That makes me king. <laughs> That's the way it works. That's right? the way it works. It's, uh, it's in the bath. Woo! We made it. There you go, guys. Those are the top 50 most commonly asked questions about Harry Potter on Google. If you have any further questions, be sure to let us know in the towel section down below. Also, let me know how did I do? Was there anything where you were like, wait, that's not right. That's the, actually don't tell me that. Just just tell me all the things I got right. Cool.
All right, awesome, thanks. Also, don't forget our SCB Pride shirts are now available over on supercarlinbrothers.store. 100% of the proceeds are going to two separate nonprofits supporting uh, Pride causes. One is It Gets Better. One is a local uh, Pride organization here in Roanoke, Virginia, where we're based out of. Uh, you can check that out, link in the description down below. Also, one more question for you guys. What did you think of this format, this style of video? We wanted to try something a little bit new. Did you like it? Would you like to see more? Would you like to see other uh, universes or more Harry Potter? Uh, you know, let, also also let us know that. Guys, as ever, thank you so much for liking today's video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future Harry Potter content from us. These were all fairly easy Harry Potter questions, but if you want to see me and Ben take on what has to be the hardest Harry Potter trivia challenge we have ever done, I would check out this video right here about the Quidditch World Cup. They were such hard questions, a great way to test your Harry Potter knowledge as well. Otherwise, until next time, Ben, I will see you in another life, brother.